learners this is pranshi verma welcome to my channel guys guys in today's session we are going to discuss top 20 frequently asked electrical engineering interview question and answer okay in this your first question is what happens when two positively charged material is placed together okay answer is question is very simple when two positively charged material place together it will repel okay next question what is referred to the electron in the outer orbit answer is electron in the outer orbit is known as valence okay next question define the term capacitance and inductance so capacitance is the amount of charge that is stored inside a capacitor at a given voltage and inductance is defined as the property of a coil to resist any change in electric current flowing through it mutual inductance happens when a secondary coil opposes current change in the primary coil okay capacitance and inductance they both are frequently asking topics in the any interview of electrical branch okay next question mention what is the difference between generator and alternator answer is both generator and alternator work on the same principle they convert mechanical energy into electrical energy okay as you know but in generators it converts induced emf it converts induced emf means electromotive force into direct current where it based on stationary magnetic field and revolving conductor which rolls on the armatures with slip rings and brushes riding against each other and alternator it has rotating magnetic and stationary armature for high voltage and a stationary magnetic field and a rotating and a rotating armature for low voltage okay so this is the difference between generator and alternator okay next question mention what are the different kind of cables used for transmissions answer of this question is also very simple cables are categorized into three forms according to its thermal capacity okay first one is low tension cables second one high tension cables and third one and third one super tension cables okay low tension cables transmit voltage up to 1000 volts and high tension cables transmit voltage up to 23000 volts and super tension cables transmits voltage up to 66 kilowatt 132 kilowatt okay next question mention what are the different colors on wires indicates this is very very important and frequently asked question answer is question is listen to me very carefully okay this is a must know question for any good electrical engineer okay agar aap ek good electrical engineer hai to aapko iska answer pata hona chahiye start karte hain black wire se this wire is used for power supply in all circuits okay any circuits with its color is considered hot or live okay it's never used for a neutral or ground wire okay so aapka jo black wire hai wo use hota hai as a considered hota hai hot or live means as a active wire okay next red wire this color wire is secondary live wire in a 220 volt circuit and used in some types of interconnections you can join the red wire to another red wire or to a black wire okay next wire is blue and yellow wire these wires are also used to carry power but are not wiring the outlets for common plug in electrical devices they are used for the live wire pulled through the conduct you will see yellow wire in the fan structural lights and switched outlets okay next white and gray wire this color wire is used as a neutral wire it carries the current unbalanced load to the ground 
you can join white and gray only to other white and gray wires okay next one green wires it's connected to the grounding terminal in an outlet box and run from the outlet box to the ground bus bar within an electric panel okay so guys they all are of different types of wires they are very important next question explain rlc circuit this is very basic and frequently asked question again answer is an rlc circuit carries an electric circuit consisting of a resistor means r and inductor means l and a capacitor rlc okay rlc stands for resistor inductor and capacitor connected in parallel or series okay the circuit is called a second order circuit as any voltage or current in the circuit can be described by a second order differential equation okay next question explain how you decide what size of electrical wire do you need okay the answer is wire is sized by american wire cord system Your installation of conductors will depend on a few factors like gauge of the wire, wire capacity, etc. For wires, smaller the wire gauge, smaller the wire gauge, larger the ampacity or capacity of the wire to handle current. For example, low voltage lighting and lamps cords will have 18 gauge. Electric furnaces or large electric heaters are of 6 gauge okay next caption mention what are the types of semiconductors answer is there are two types of semiconductor first one intrinsic and second one extrinsic okay again in extrinsic semiconductors you will have n type semiconductors and p type semiconductors next caption explain what is transistors comprised of answer is transistors are comprised of several combination of n type and p type semiconductors next question mention what is the role of transistor in circuit answer is transistor has the ability to amplify the current due to the reason that output power can be higher than the input power okay next question mention how npn and pnp transistor works okay so in a circuit when npn is used okay so no current flowing from a to d for example and is equal to no flow from x to z okay and current flowing from a to d is equal to current allowed to flow from x to z this is the condition for npn transistors okay and uh, when pnp is used so no current flowing from a to d is equal to current is allowed to flow from x to z and current flowing from a to d is equal to no current flow from x to z okay so this is the condition for pnp transistors next question what will be the current if the resistance total in series circuit doubles Answer is if the resistance total in a series circuit doubles the current will reduce to half okay next question what happens if the series current doubles so answer is if the series currents get double then the resistance is halved okay halved means halved means aadhi okay jab aap series mein current ko double karte hain to aapka resistance aadha reh jata hai okay and uh, next question explain what does a string of resistors in a series will do answer is when a string of resistors in a series will divide their source voltage into proportional to their values okay next question what is meant by reverse polarity and how it can be fixed answer is reverse polarity is referred in a condition where one or more of your receptacles are connected incorrectly to fix the reverse polarity check the bar connection at the outlet and inspect your receptacle a receptacle with reverse polarity will have the white wire screwed to the hot side 
and black wire will be connected to the neutral side if that the case swap the wires and it will resolve the problem if it persist a licensed electrician will be needed okay next question explain what rectifiers is and what are the types of rectifiers answer is a rectifiers is an electrical device that transform ac or alternating current into direct current means dc with flows in only one direction okay the types of rectifiers are first one half wave rectifier and second one full wave rectifier okay half wave rectifier is uses in pn junction and full wave rectifiers is uses in two pn junction okay next yes explain what is drainer diode answer is drainer diode is a type of semiconductor diode that allows current to flow in the opposite direction when exposed to enough voltage okay so drainer diode is a type of semiconductor diode and that allows current to flow in the opposite direction okay when exposed to enough voltage next question mention the difference between analog and digital circuit okay first difference is in analog and digital is analog operate on continuous value signal and digital circuits operate on the signals which exist at two level zeros and ones next difference is no conversion of the input signal required before transmitting the circuit directly executes various logical operations and produces an analog output in analog circuit and in digital circuit before the signal is transmitted it's converted into digital form okay next to friends in analog there is no probability of losing any information as there is no conversion okay because conversion nahi hai it means aapka koi bhi information loss nahi ho sakta and in digital circuit digital circuit conversion amount of information is lost okay in digital circuit conversion is done so amount of information is lost and last difference in analog and digital circuit is analog circuit lacks flexibility lacks flexibility and digital circuit anticipate high flexibility okay guys so they all are the difference between analog and digital circuit next and last question of this video explain what is laser diode answer is laser diode are compact transistors like packages with two or more electrical leads lasing occurs when stimulated emissions results into the amplification of photon confined to the lasing mode okay these photons hit back and forth between the back and front mirror and hence a diverging beams emits from the laser diode packages okay so this is laser diode okay guys this is my first video about electrical interview question and answers गाइज मैंने कोशिश की है फर्स्ट टाइम आपको इलेक्ट्रिकल पढ़ाने की अगर आपको वीडियो अच्छा लगा है तो प्लीज़ वीडियो को लाइक कीजिएगा एंड आप चाहते हैं ऐसे ही इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोस आपके लिए इलेक्ट्रिकल से या फिर अदर किसी ब्रांच से या फिर किसी और पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक से आप क्वेश्चन आंसर चाहते हैं तो आप मुझे कमेंट करके बताइएगा एंड आप चाहते हैं ऐसे ही इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग से इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर और सीरीज आपके लिए लेकर आया जाए सो प्लीज़ वो भी कमेंट कीजिएगा एंड विश यू वेरी वेरी ऑल द बेस्ट Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.